Tonight, we're going to be giving a didact challenge update, talking about an agent who broke a record and also Perpetua Hexathlon update. So, welcome to the Agent Academy. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 76, recorded on February 21st, 2020. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. Agent Dewey J. And Agent Vane. And we got some uh, exciting stuff tonight. Super exciting, right? I'm excited. Very excited. Fields. Can't stop. Fields. <laughs> Gotta make more fields. More, more fields. More links. More, li- more links. More fields. And I, I think we're going to get to pretty much all of our weeks as we talk about a um, challenge. So how about we just go ahead and start talking about the Didact Challenge? Eh? Do eh? it. So, Let's go with the person that did the most. Vain. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> Like, just throw them on the spot. Do it. So what would you get, Vane? Or what are you Didact. up to? Uh, so I'm only at 8.04 right now. Jeez. Oh. I decided I was going to take a pause after I got it. I had some uh, portal resets that were kind of like burning a hole in my pocket that needed some attention. So I didn't want to, you know, spend too much time fielding. But I've been throwing a uh, series of AP engines locally. So... My current engine is only 15 portals uh, in the layer set. Takes the soft bank per throw point. And I've just been spending kind of like cooldown time between flip cards, just farming keys. And now I'm, I'm just carrying around all these extra keys and I'm just going around to local agents like, please, someone take these keys. <laughs> Who wants to throw fields? And so far, nobody's taking me up on the offer. So I'm going to wait. Like, I'm going to give it another 24 hours, and if nobody else takes me up on the offer, I'm just going back out there and throwing more fields because these keys aren't going to link themselves. Well, you know what happens if you throw uh, 1,600 fields, right? You get that nice, sweet, recursed... You get didacted. Oh, no, that doesn't, that doesn't happen. You get didacted. Oh, oh, oh my. No? I mean, no. I can I can try... I don't know. Sixteen hundred is a big, tall order. That's, depends on where you're at. That's still a lot of fields. That's a lot. And how about you, Agent Dewey J? Uh, I did the same thing on a, on a very, very much smaller scale. Um, I I did get the bronze one, and uh, running a I was running two AP generators with about twenty four links each. Um, I was surprised. I I hadn't. I hadn't gone around town lately, and so I started looking at the map. I'm like, crap, where did these 15 portals in this park come from? So uh, evidently a pogo player had figured out all the S1 squares or S2 squares and just covered this park. So uh, I'm now up to a whole, like, 60 portals in town. Um, That's pretty cool. Not bad for a small town. So I was able to throw it and flip it a couple times and – got the 100 i think i'm at 105 or something right now so but don't have as many portals to work with and i'm looking at uh, what it would take to do it and i don't think i would have the uh viruses to flip and do do it all so i think i'm just gonna let it set and see if some green thing comes along and tears it up but i i don't think that's gonna happen a whole lot well if you're uh, getting getting the um did you you did an ap thing generator too yeah i actually did kind of a pair um and actually one ap generator and then off the other side was another one that were going to the same portals but that was only like 17 so i had to go north and south on a couple of them it's, but yeah i think i racked up half a million just about 
in uh, AP, just throwing those fields and getting everything together. So I, that's, I think that's the thing. It's, people are going to be like, crap, where did I get all this AP from? Well, throwing fields. And maybe you're getting more viruses and jarvis and stuff to be able to flip it while you're hacking? Because that's supposed to be well, the thing, right? Yeah, that's the problem is that um, all these are threes and fours and fives, and there's no eights around. I think I got one eight. I got one seven in town. So I don't really generate a lot of viruses or other things whenever wherever I'm hacking. You know, I think I get a couple of, you know, cubes every now and then. But uh, haven't seen the Jarvis dropping. Oh, well, maybe uh, that'll change. Yep, maybe. Maybe I have to hack more than once. <laughs> and and uh, you got a glyph hack, right? You get get a more chance yep. of getting stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and I will say that I was... When I was doing the first one, it was raining, muddy, just nasty out. I thought, ah, I think I'm going to just slide the key, slide the key. And that works pretty well. Um, so it's not as good as cliff hacking, but you can generate some keys pretty quick using that slide up to the key. Nice. And, I, and I'm only at, I'm at like 146, I think. So I don't know if I'll get to 300. I believe in you. Like, yeah, I do. Well, I'm using a very small AP engine. So I, I know an agent that has a bunch total. of keys that would let you throw things. All you got to do is drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that was a thing. So, I mean, I set up, like, I have one portal that's kind of my, uh, it's, it's basically an AP generator, but it's just all around it. You know, I'm just making a starburst out of it to specific portals. And so I've just been hitting it uh, in the morning mm -hmm. and flipping it, killing it, resetting <coughs> it back up. Uh, but I'm really low on my espals, and so I don't know if I will do that. I might just start yeah. um, throwing it and then flipping it and then hoping it stays till I can get back in it after work and, and flip it again and then throw. <laughs> but I think that might be difficult yeah i think the one thing that i didn't do well is i was just well i did a little prime prime tips podcast on how to make one and i did it real simple but uh i didn't really think about setting it up for splits um so i probably could have generated more fields had i you know set it up with a uh a generator that you could go back through and split those and, and get more out of them instead of just ones um but I mean, you'd, you'd get the splits the first time. You wouldn't get the splits the second time through. So, The splits sounds like a negative thing. <laughs> yeah. I love the splits. I love the splits. splits. The splits like are not nice. yeah. You got to cancel no, you... the splits. <laughs> well, it's, it's, you know, when, whenever you, you make a you layer of field and you throw back to the, to the one that you just did before, and you split that field in two, and so you get two more. Now, see, no I, I always love this kind of thing because I feel like it's original dialect. Like, I just call them, like, doubles. Like, double. a double field. Yeah. I've heard we around here, we call them splits. We call them throwbacks uh, because you're throwing back under that field. Um, but, yeah, we just call them backlinks. Or back links. Links. That's yeah. what I call them down here. I don't know. We'll hear them call backlinks. I don't know if anybody else calls them anything else down here, but uh, always, always it's a backlink link. if you got the keys. It's yep. a thing. So we have how long till this is over? We had ten days, and it started on the fourteenth. So we got twenty fourth, twenty fourth, and in Ish. The, so far we've gotten the first milestone with with five million and, and something, and we still need a few more million to get to the eights. Mm -hmm. Think so? I th yeah, I think we will. I mean, we hit the the five point five mil in six days, and if uh, we stay on. Um, that line, you know, it's many portals the same at the same rate. Um, the projection looks like we'd hit that stretch but about will we? 22nd or 23rd. Like, if uh, are well, I probably badges. won't be a whole lot of help. I'm going to give it to Vane and just let Vane do it all. Just <laughs> right. Get a couple million for us. But I think as people are getting their badges, they're going to start yeah. not making fields as much. And, and so we may actually yeah, have a problem with that last mill. I feel like we're going to hit the stretch goal comfortably. But uh, I think you've got two camps of agents on this. You've got a couple of people that are going to hit the 800 and then kind of just coast, stop, 
but I've already seen a couple of agents out just in the local area here that have their stats open and they're in like, you know, the 14, 1500 range, almost 1600 mm -hmm. on fields for the challenge. So I think the people that are kind of running their engines are like, why stop now? Might yeah, as well right. just keep going. Especially and I kind of feel the same. Yeah. Especially if you get the double AP when you start tearing it down. And I think that's the thing that I'm kind of missing is that there's nobody here to tear, you know, yeah. anything for me to tear down. But if you're in a larger city like you guys, you know, you can get that AP for tearing that stuff down. It makes it easier for them to, to rethrow it. So, yeah, that's a lot, a lot of AP that's out there. I think a lot of the rural players are going to just be like, oh, got yep. my badge. Got, got the one. I'm done. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's you, like when, you you, when you're driving two hours to throw the fields, it's it's different, and <laughs> and it's like, uh, it, there's easier ways to make AP. Yeah, in in rural yeah. areas, unfortunately. Yeah, you just it is, but uh, I think weekend coming up if the weekend's good weather, I, I think you know they should stay on that line. But so uh, we I encourage just, people to do that, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to like challenge you both to, to hit the 300 mark because I feel like the, the stigma with, with the field count is inaccurate. I know that it can be harder if you're rural, oh, but if you hard. have the VR gear, like I know you both probably have like hordes of VR gear. No. There's inventories there. No, I mean, that's nope. the other thing. Not now. I, well, there's no farms to like hack a bunch of gear. No farms. Yeah. What do you what are your you soft know. banks? What do you got for Aiders? What do you got for Jarvis? I'm telling what you, you I have uh, like eight S bulls left. Eight. Oh boy. Eight I think, I think I've got about eight S bulls left and maybe a total of eight Jarvis or eight virus together left. Yeah. And and, and in the last week in the last go. week I've got one S bull and zero virus. And I'm you know, and I'm throwing gear out constantly so it's it's like it's not like i'm not hacking yeah or glyph hacking. I, it's, it's just you got to glyph hack the eights it's, it's all fives right yeah that's the thing i need somebody just well i don't need somebody but it'd be nice to have an eight farm to go which i do there is an eight farm it's it's about 40 minutes north of me so so now I want to know how abnormal my virus stock is because I've got 140 Jarvis left. You saw 45 <laughs> Aes. You so <laughs> so much. <laughs> so I don't just, think I've had 145 <laughs> virus the entire time I played. So just to um, kind of get a, a rough idea, like what when you think of a farm vein, like how many portals do you think of when you're like I'm going to go to the farm tonight? Oh, that's a tough one. I really think it is subjective to like, I'm what I want to get about out of that you, farm. About you and your area. Me? Yeah. I don't have eights locally. <laughs> locally. Loose Lo term. Locally as in from your couch. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. My couch is a, a six right now. So, you know, it's I hack. I recycle resonators. I recycle bursters. Mm -hmm. And I just keep hacking. That way, if I get some VR loot, I've so, got some bonus, but so if like, I'm going the to a farm, farm to you, yeah, closest farm, yeah, mm, two hours probably really? in like really? either wow. direction. But what are what so, are most the closest friendly farm anyway? I, there's oh, okay. a blue farm, thirty five minutes down the road, but I, I don't actually dirty hack it very often. Um, if there's an event going on like double AP or something similar like that, I'll go over there, but. Uh, typically, I can get eight gear when I'm at a friendly farm. Mm -hmm. hmm. And then, so like, you, how many you, portals are there? Yeah, in that farm. Uh, that farm, couple hundred. Couple but hundred. That is a that is a rarity. I, I should I should definitely state that that is not the norm. No, that doesn't. I I hope that's not the norm. Like because <laughs> like when like our farm here, and and now the farm's pretty close. It's you know 15 minutes from my house. And I get hit it every morning on the way to work, um, but it's four, four portals, hmm. four. So, but see, that's the thing, can, though. Like, you can I, continuously you know, hack it. With I don't need people. those huge farms. Like, you give me two portals, give me a single eight portal with like a rare multi hack on it, and if I'm glyph hacking, taking a little bit of time here and there, glyph hacking, recycling the stuff I don't need. So recycling the extra resonators, 
recycling the bursters, like glyph hacking at speed. So like I would challenge anyone that's out there that is at least proficient at glyph hacking or if you're new to glyph hacking, start glyphing more Mm -hmm. and use the complex glyph hack more. I know that is a little bit more difficult, but if you're mostly glyphing sevens, it's not too hard. It gets a little bit harder when you're complex glyph hacking eights, but when you get faster, you get more loot. Yeah, and that's probably my problem because I really suck at glyph hacking. So, you know, I don't I don't nail a five much or a four much. You know, it's usually, you know, three three glyphs. I get that, but the four and the five, so I struggle. So, yeah, that's probably why my gear is so low. It just sucks so much at glyph hacking. I think that's my next badge is probably... Uh, what am I at? Forty-one thousand, mm-hmm. roughly. So and it's fifty thousand. So I'll probably get that soon. But oh yeah, for translator, yeah, fifty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of making AP, we can go on to our next thing. Yeah. Yeah, um, go for it. Yeah, I, I was I came across this and it's 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 pretty amazing uh, how this guy did this. Um, Agent Roll owns. Um, kind of says he is a teal player. Um, he's 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 flipped back and forth a number of times uh, by recursing, and uh, had a plan, I guess, use the two x or double AP window uh, to flip at the right time and attack at the right time. And it looks like he went from level one to level eight in ten seconds. So. How did he do that? Slacker, yeah. Yeah, I'd have done it in five. Shoot, I can't even hit one thing in 10 seconds. But uh, basically, he, he took the time to set a bunch of stuff up. He, he linked fields. Uh, he had like 395 links and 755 fields total. And he did all this while he was still enlightened. And he made sure to set this uh, anchor up as a level one with a bunch of heat sinks and multi-hacks. <laughs> oh, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah. So he had like 400 keys to start with that and he just was linking 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 and he happened to be in an area where there wasn't many people around so they weren't tearing it down uh, so he had the time to do it um so just before the planned event um he hit 16 recursed and waited and then he recursed to blue by that time that portal had uh a bunch of AP sitting in it. And since it was double AP, he got 640,000 for the destroy and 642,000 because it was an enemy portal at that time. So when he destroyed that one portal, he netted 1. Or 1,283,180 AP. Holy moly. Which level eight is 1,200 AP. So that was some some pretty amazing planning. Now he had a video, and I'm like, how did he do that? But when you look at the sit rep and you start to read, it was a lot of planning, and uh, it's interesting, interesting. So yeah, I don't think, you, I don't think you can do the last eight without, like that. without the the double AP multiplier. Like good luck. Yeah, you'd have to have what like 800. You'd have to have like 1500 fields connected into that thing and that would be close to 800 links points. the yeah. scanner is probably going to start not having a good time yeah. trying to destroy that because when you start getting the starbursts that are huge uh, trying to actually burst them mm-hmm. I, I know at the beginning of Prime it's a lot harder so I guess I'd be curious too if they have anything in that sit rip about uh, scanner problems trying to actually take down that low level portal <laughs> yeah, he didn't he didn't mention it but I, yeah, that's a good point I, I know that a couple of times that we did starburst and of course last time i think we really did one was uh with re, uh, redacted um and it just got really laggy as a matter of fact it, it got so laggy that uh, one of our own players flipped it not knowing what was going on because he couldn't play and he was not a popular character after that but um is so is that is are there zeros in that or is is chat and prime like is is it um case sensitive do what i I tried to ping him 
Oh. And, uh, and it's getting nothing. Or did he change his name after he did he I, like 16? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I didn't try to hit, hit that account. Hmm. So we'll have to hit it to make sure that we're yeah, not just a bunch I was of smoke. Tell everybody to like ping it out there, but uh, um, not if it's wrong. But yeah, I mean that's that's really cool. It's uh, there should be an ingress um, book of scanner oh. records or something. <laughs> Hall of Fame. And this one can go down in there. Yeah, is that and. So they flip back and forth every time, and that's what I wanted to go see. I wanted to see how many times they recursed. I didn't. Know I, I think the any. sit rep said he's on like seven or eight. So, I think that's cool. Yeah, it's gonna be up there because yeah, it's up there. I don't know what the current record is for recursions, but I, I would imagine seven or eight is. Yeah, probably. There's not too many folks that are, are that high. I mean, you know, I know plenty of players that are on like recursion three or four, but yeah, that's nuts. I was thinking he was on five and this made six, but I could be wrong. Well, and you're on what? Uh, 14 now, Vane? Uh, 15. And I actually, uh, Vidorian, if he's out there listening or now he's like, you know, scratching the back of his neck and stuff, I. Am now past the thirty million mark on this recursion, and the Didact challenge kind of made me want to jump in high gear with getting sixteen again. Um, my goal was to try to get back to sixteen in under a year, and I, I didn't quite hit that. So I think by the time double AP rolls around again, I want to be in a position where I'm recursing right at the start of double AP, and then I can ride the gauntlet to like level 12 or 13 by the end of double AP again. <laughs> Maybe you can do the one to eight in five seconds. Oh, geez. Yeah. I, I don't know if I quite want to build out a field plan on that caliber. I, I enjoy micro fielding and, and like destroying areas, fluid play rather than like, I'm going to sit down and plan out this massive 800 layer field. That way when I recurse, I can smash it like props to the agent that yeah. spent the time to do that. I think that's really cool. And I really don't think anyone's going to be beating that record anytime no, soon. Think, and it looked like it took him a couple of days. The so. amount of keys you would need to farm Holy for that, that terrifies me. Like my lockers are full of things and I'm scared for the first time. <laughs> you are not a key hoarder. I know the problem is I have too many keys and I don't want to get rid of them. So Maybe like I have one locker I have six total lockers, so I'm one of those those people that everybody hates. They're like, ah, boo, you and your six lockers. But four of those lockers are just, like, always permanently full. Like, I have one souvenir locker, so I've already kind of taken myself out of the game. Like, sure, I have six lockers, but one of them is full of souvenir keys that's labeled breadcrumbs, and it's just all, like, <laughs> anomaly portals that I fought over or stopped at a weird rest stop and there was a portal that looked interesting. Those don't leave my inventory. Uh, I have, yeah, I have one like that, but I call it memories. You call your bread, yours breadcrumbs. Yeah, mine is labeled breadcrumbs. Do you have a a key locker where you save keys in, Dewey? Um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> do, you, do you call it anything? somewhere? It's spread across a couple of them, but yeah, I've got some that I just <laughs> I just want to keep. The problem I have is there's a couple of them that I'm like, you know, I really want to throw to this someday, and so I've generated a bunch, and I've got you know like a hundred of them. I'm like, okay, now I got to do that. I get rid of this hundred. Well, um, the next thing uh, we want to talk about it's not a uh, a fun story, and it, it's. Um kind of sucks for folks that sucks more for folks for the reason why uh this is but so they niantic has decided to cancel the perpetua hex athlon event in naha okinawa uh japan and that was planned for february 29th due to the uh, coronavirus outbreak in the region and just just in case anybody was going to try because they it's unconfirmed uh, but agents who registered for the the event um, may receive the standard 
hexathlon medal at a later date. And if you thought like, oh man, I need to go register for that real quick so I can get the medal. It's they've taken it off the events page, so you cannot yeah. do that. Not that I was yeah, looking I was, to see. I was but, gonna but, hope because I was like, oh no, no, was no, 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 no. <laughs> like Goonie, please don't make more work for me. <laughs> <laughs> But if you know the URL structure, you may be able to find the No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, no. No, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, did they uh, also take uh, the mission days for almost all of them? I think there was one, but the rest of the mission days that were with that um, are gone. I, I think so. Well, I mean, the only events, yeah, at least in the scanner, are the, at least that I saw, were the perpetual ones. So... Yeah, I don't know the mission days. There's probably maybe a different link that you don't do inside the scanner, or it wasn't active because I do not see those. I'll see it there. And also, they have some changes to the uh, NL thirteen thirty one in Europe. What, um, what are those changes? UK cities. They canceled some, and they put some new cities in. So I don't know which ones they pulled out and which ones they put in. Uh, but they said due to technical circumstances. So uh, I don't know exactly what those technical circumstances would be. Um, maybe it's, you know, crappy cell signal in there. You don't know. Yeah. Uh, it could the be. one guy with the phone that can't make it or something. It, and it could be as they're kind of taking over some of the, the on the ground um, paperwork and stuff. Mm-hmm. They may be finding that there are some laws in different areas that are making it hard for them. Maybe sales and, um, and there's like really stringent rules in some areas where it's like you have to have people, a certain amount of people and things like that. And I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff, so there's no telling what it is, but I, I'm glad they're um, looking into it and letting people know, you know, now and not the day of finding out, oh, yeah, we're going to have to cancel it today. Sorry you made the trip. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, better to cancel now instead of after somebody's on a plane. And you know they'll work that stuff out till next time. What's well, Vane? Did you do you have something that you're trying not to say? You you are no. Extra he's high left. Tonight, he's Vane. high left. He knows something. Are, are is the cold weather making your beard grow? Because you it's a extra, little bit. Yeah, extra I, hairy. I, I, I need like a, it. I need to trim. I no, need to trim. No, I like this. I was like, Agent Academy is coming up, and I'm like, ah, oh, effort. I've got to look presentable for the camera for the audience I, I think it looks great I, I've i added a little bit downstairs to go with the stash so that's personal no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking on the chin oh not the basement okay <laughs> you're talking more up like oh, geez. in the kitchen or something okay so also I can't face desk hard enough for this I'm just going <laughs> to lean into it He's, oh, the, now, if you had like been over and then came back and didn't have a beard, that would have been awesome. That would have been cool. Either shaved real quick or it was just fake. Anyway, so also uh, Pack posted on the 21st an update due to unforeseen interference and precautions. The tethered hand has decided to postpone this live drop to another time and another location. And this is the one that was going to be, um, uh, where was that? Was that in China or is that somewhere near? I don't know. I I that believe that Taiwan? was the, the Japanese Japanese one. Oh, yes, Japanese drop. Oh, I, I could be wrong on that one. Yeah, could be thinking it, of it's, things. It's kind of interesting. I mean, you don't think that that coronavirus is going to affect you so much. I work with computers in, in a computer shop, and we've just not been able to get parts. You know, we know the factories have started back up, but they're not at full speed. Yeah. So. It affects the world, and I, you know, everyone out there, um, you know, take care of yourself and and um, you know, stay healthy and keep away from people that have it. I mean, it's hard to eat, like how can you if you live in in that area? So yeah, um, just don't go to China. If you go there, stay for a while, like a month. Okay, so more exciting stuff. I don't even know what this is. You want to read this next one? Hints. Hints are shaped like stars and octagonals. What is that? Yeah, there, he, uh, Pack has dropped a couple of hints about the live drops. Okay. And uh, the pictures are shapes that look kind of like s- starfish or hectagonals, octagonals. Um, so and SpongeBob? I didn't see a SpongeBob. Wow. Well, not that. Uh, 
not that starfish. Not, not that kind. But uh, so I don't think they have an idea exactly where they're going to be at, but they they started to drop hints. So I don't know exactly when. Soon. 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 Okay. So the, the word from the Vanguard is soon. That's when that'll happen. And and do we have a new uh, decoding challenge? Like, did we talk about the last one? I know uh, we were. Were we starting it before the show, or was that the we, show before? That, that, I think the last show we were decoding as we started the show, okay. and somebody, somebody stayed up till like four o'clock in the morning decoding. I was gonna say, did you like yeah. blank that out from your memory? Like, <laughs> well, I couldn't remember if if we had a show in between then and we talked about it, but um, like. It was a bear to solve, and without I, I've got to say this without the like community uh, forums, like no one's giving answers there. But there are people like kind of saying uh, maybe try this sort of technology and kind of trying to steer people down the right path. And honestly, there is no way in hell I would have uh, finished it without you know reading a lot of those comments and mm-hmm. um and the other thing is just like when you're stuck just put it down for 15 yeah. minutes 30 Walk minutes from sleep it. on it come back because sometimes you just have that aha and your, your brain just wakes up and gives you enough time to figure stuff out uh but i did get the um the uh media and immediately deleted it <laughs> I was worried that it was no. it was no. for the. Uh, what have you done? The, I thought it was for the tessellation, so I was like, "Oh, I can't have this!" And d- no, I'm just kidding. I still have it. Uh, but <laughs> we also both of us submitted our thing for the tessellation. True, that's true. Two of the three did. The, Vane, did you submit one? What? Whoa. I got too distracted at work this right. week. Well, and it was bad. funny because Dewey You're sent so- a, a message to our, our <laughs> chat. Like the host chat, like, hey, I submitted this, and I was like, oh, God. And I'd been, you know, playing all day, so I don't know when I got it. But sure enough, I had it in there, so I went and submitted it, and it was the one immediately after uh, Dewey J's in the thread. I like that when I'm just ahead, but that much. Right? So does it matter if people submit it after the first one? Like, I thought it was just the first one. So what's to do with people submitting it after the first person submits it? First three. Although there were some tweaks to the the rules, so um, I'm a little behind on the the absolute specifics of different rule changes. But it was for a while, first three. Because there were a ton of people to it. who posted it. Yeah, well, everyone wants a you know slice of the pie, so everyone's going to post it. They went out, they hacked it. They're going to post, and there are some instances where the tethered hand will say, uh, you know, before this advances to the next round, or an additional clue is given. A certain amount of people have to post this specific tesserae. So okay. there have been instances where, like, oh, we need 250 people to post on either side or different criteria. So it really depends on the specific tessera. And and you get on the scoreboard. You know, you might be near the bottom like me, but you're on the scoreboard. Oh, yeah. So you, that's you two know. scoreboards I'm on that I'm on the <laughs> bottom of. Yeah, I shouldn't have brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. That's fine. The only time I've gotten high up on the scoreboard, they recounted later, and I was not as high as I thought I was. So <sighs> Maybe the next one. I've got to try harder. That's right. And, and uh, also, there's something new coming out. There was announced Ficto, a partnership with Niantic Lab. And they've, um, well, they didn't create Pokemon Go. Niantic Labs are the creators of the yeah. popular game. Um, it's some sort of interactive, like, thing that's also geolocation based. Yeah. And it's a viewing experience. So, do we think this will? I I believe I read somewhere that this wasn't like it was going to be kind of new storyline ish stuff. Yeah, that's. I, I think that's kind of the discussion. Are they going to take the anime into this direction? Are they going to go? Some people have been discussing. You know, are they rebooting Ingress Obsessed? And that's yeah, what they're going to kind of come into this. Feeling. So, like, I think that the description of it is, you know, the the two, you know, young women that will be like 
on the journey. So I, I feel like they're going to pull through like agent situation reports and do a little bit of the like, okay, you'll have interactive puzzles and different things that you can do, but it'll be kind of like that ingress obsessed style reality ingress show, but it might have a little bit more puzzles and interactivity. Like ingress has had events in the past. I know Japan has had a few of them where there have been like other apps that have some sort of a puzzle. I know the dark XM challenge had, I can't remember the specific name of the application, but it was like a puzzle app that agents had to gather around specific portals to like defuse a dark XM weapon. And then they would get like a code to, to solve another riddle. And then it just kind of continued on past that point yeah. to some ultimate resolution. Geocaching has uh, a thing similar to that. Um, it was kind of a companion piece but it was a long time ago called where I go. And uh, it was more of a, gave you a clue and then it would keep track of your location. And when you move to the next location, then it would pop up with either a sound file or a web page or something. And uh, then give you the next clue to the next one. So I don't know, maybe, I, maybe this would be something that, you know, you get that clue and you move to the location or the portal and then you get the next piece of the video and away it goes. Uh, who knows? Hopefully it's not, you know, making you do things like run into the river or uh, something like that. I wonder if we can make our own ficto. Look, we can submit a show. Let's submit we- the podcast and, and people will be able to interact with the video podcast. We, we already had that and people were making all kinds of noise. But we like their noise. I haven't heard any this time. A couple of people were saying it wasn't working earlier uh, along with a few of our other technical issues. So apologies if anyone is trying to put those things through and it's not working. We don't know why stream do this. To, yeah. uh, are you talking about our stream? Yeah, yeah, all of our technical issues tonight. Uh, when it first started, Restream was having issues, so I dropped the stream for a second and just put us up on Twitch itself, and so we should be fine. Yeah. Uh, and that was like after the first three minutes. But if it's been going on since then, then I'm not sure what's going on. I think we've been good since then. I think we're good. Sorry, I'm going to watch some Ficto. <laughs> it's like, move over podcast. Goonie is completely sucked in. She is now. the ultimate California girl. With a cartoonish style, this hey, singer that, described... That's Katy Perry. Yeah. Oh, well, we lost Goonie for like 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> that's that's Katy Perry and that's Ficto and it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. I um what happened to the anime? I mean, they had a run of shows and then what? I feel like you can count the anime done. Personally, I mean, like if you go look at like anime their website and stuff, there's just like since the first like month there's nothing new there. Right, it, it, like when the DVDs came out or the Blu-rays came out, showing my age, talking about DVDs. What are those things? <laughs> Who you knows know, what Blu-rays are anymore? No one uses that you know, crap. VCR tapes, Beta, Betamax tapes. Oh my God! There we go. Thanks, Control Alt F C K. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't even know what that was. A zombie came up and ran around the screen. That was pretty cool. I think someone hacked us. <laughs> That's all right. They're not getting any gear from me. Uh-oh. Oh, what's that? Oh, it must have been the tethered hand doing it. Ah. <laughs> That's just my hand. I'm just messing with you. That's yeah. all me. You're tethered. Um, so what were we talking about? <laughs> uh, the dead end on the test. anime. Test oh, yeah, right. the anime. Do you know anything about the anime, vein? I I wish I knew more about the anime. I would love a season two, but it just doesn't seem like... I don't know how... I don't think season one did well enough, unfortunately. No. There was too much gun and not enough scanner. And some people are like, why Why are there guns in my scanner anime? And that <laughs> oh, just didn't work out well. I, You know, it's like the yeah, my it. friends that I know that, that watch a lot of anime basically said it was kind of old. Like the style was old and wasn't modern enough for them and for me who watches almost no anime like 
that was really my first one, unless you count heavy metal, which was a long time ago. I don't know. If, I did watch Pokemon. Um, Hold on, like doing but, doesn't, but not any well, like yeah. real anime that people. He's about to go get his collection. So, but to me, I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. But I also liked like the book. You like anime? This is all anime. <laughs> like, Jesus. <laughs> like I don't know. Let's see. Like, what do we got now? See, I don't have the Ingress Blu-ray set yet, so I'm sad. Did but, you order like, it yet? No, and I should probably do that. I thought but, they like, sure Who wants to watch some original Helsing, or maybe like, maybe? Oh no, it's on the floor now. Okay. Well, maybe you've all tuned in to like, the anime the... podcast. Oh yeah, you're on <laughs> the anime <laughs> podcast now. Let's see what else we got. We got some some Noeen, maybe some Magic Knights Ray Earth. I don't know. Chat is we're not, like, we're not going to get sued or anything, but are, are we? Well, we're not, just we're dropping not, all these names. Yeah. It, so. oh, okay, we're, we're not playing it. All right, we're good. <laughs> That's why I turned off the Katy Perry. So they're uh, suing us. You never know. Actually, I mean, if she sues us, I mean, more people would know about us. That's and, true. And she, Bring it on. if she wants the forty bucks, she can have the forty bucks, right? Like, We're but I, I really enjoyed the anime, and I really was hoping that they would do another season of some sort, or even just a, a whole new new story <laughs> would be cool. But like, Maybe you said, we'll get like an OVA at some point. Do what? Maybe we'll get like an Ingress uh, anime OVA. So just just like a short, like you know, just one extra episode or a special or you know something like that. Maybe fingers crossed. I don't know. John, like Hanky, Hanky, everyone, ping Ace so like right now. Just ping Ace and just be like, where where the anime at? Well, and, but don't you think they'll just say where were you at when we released the anime? Yeah. I don't know. I, I've never actually gotten a reply from Ace. Like. I just like ping him. Freely? And the ping's going to the void. From Kiss? Well, I've got a oh. a thing in the hopper. I've got a thing in the works that maybe we'll have our own little cartoon. What? Are you one drawing frame? this? One, one frame. <laughs> one frame. The budget is very frame. small. I got one frame. Yeah, no, it'll probably be a good size. Um, I have a, an artist friend who. Um, I did a little computer work for it. He said, well, what can I pay you? I said, no, 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 you're not going to pay me. You're going to work this off. Oh. <laughs> so as soon as he's finished with another job, he's going to do this one. So hopefully, and I told him you can either do it in the style that we already have or your own style. It's up to you. So we'll see how that's that a, That's out. pretty cool. We'll see how it turns out. Um. Uh, it looks like we got... Quite a few people in the chat room tonight, too. New people. There's Arvin. Hey, Arvin. Somebody out of my own cell. He's on the other side of the cell. So it's nice to have friends on the other side of the cell because then you can throw across the cell. And then if you have somebody north, you can make those triangles, those triangle things. But And you had a couple of people come in with to back you up, didn't you, Vane? Or you thought? I think a few are out there. Yeah. Good. Well, and this was going to be a, a short show tonight. And it's, um, you know, we want you to get out there and make those fields and, and get to the thing. Sorry. And I was kind of, after we were looking at the anime, I was trying to look for the DVD. And then my brain went to, hey, I wonder if the Ingress <laughs> shop ever opened back up. So I went there and it's like even more barren than it was with like, broken images and stuff so i think andrew left and took the shop with him i think he was probably running it that's my guess and um we need ingress merch right like why don't they do ingress merch they always talk about needing money more, swag. more. you gotta more sell swag. it and and like let's like look at ingress players at, at anomaly there's they're wearing a bunch of stuff but you can't just do the logo of the anomaly and slap on a shirt and go here you go like hire some of these artists that are doing the stuff for the factions to make some cool designs mm -hmm. that you can sell all year long in the shop yep and then go hog wild on that i i really am kicking myself that i didn't buy something in chicago that's really nice and it, again it was the locals 
says some really nice stuff and by the time I figured I wanted to buy it, it was gone. So, yeah, it, it'll sell. Yeah, and you should reach out if it was like, um, you know, your faction doing it. Reach out to your faction and see if they have any leftover merch. I mean, a lot of the anomalies, they, they save it and bring it to the next anomaly and, like, try to sell it early and stuff like that. Oh, this is Chicago. You know how Chicago is. You know, it's, it's, it's not there anymore. Uh, you're... That was some kind of code there. That must yeah. be a resistance code. It's a resistance code. It's not there. It's not there anymore. No, they said so, they did a real good job of ordering just as many as they, they thought they needed and a little little extra because they have been caught with lots of them that they couldn't sell before. So I don't blame them. It's a good way yeah. to do it. No, yeah. That's... I went down the rabbit hole that Goonie just went down. <laughs> and I was like, oh, maybe I should see if the Ingress anime like DVDs are still available on Amazon. And... The the box art like that you can see on Amazon. I just I just tossed a link into the host chat, Goonie. But you you like have to present this box art <laughs> because the back of the DVD set has some ridiculous art. I don't even know what's going on on, on this, it, but <laughs> isn't Soho in that art somewhere? He, uh, He's in the end credits. Yeah, in the credits. I remember he was in there yeah. somewhere. Is this the... Well, here, let me put this back on camera. We're going down that rabbit hole. We are. Uh, are we talking about this one? No, no. Yes, yeah, that one. So, like, expand that. It is It is absolutely ridiculous. Like, just take in everything that's occurring. Jeez. In that, is that, that a robot? Back of the box right there. <laughs> like, there's, a, there's, like, an item mecha... Like that and was like, not in Jack the story. Is just like, <laughs> <laughs> like and, and for some reason, like in the bottom corner, they're just like fan service. They're like, here you go. I'm like, what is what is happening here? Figure out what what kind of animes people like, and then just make sure you put them all in there. Doesn't matter whether it's in the story or not. Just put them all in there. But the the front of the mecha is like there's a link amp on the chassis of the mecha that is beautiful. On. Well, that's crazy. I'm changed now. <laughs> there we go. Some images. And there's only one left, so like, if anyone wants it, like, there you go. There's the link. And what is <laughs> this? Like, they're showing her like upskirt. That's like messed That's, up. That was the fan service. You know, I tried to be PC about it a little bit. But so okay. it looked like they just said, "Here are all the shapes and things we're using. We're not going to explain them to you. Make a movie." That's crazy. <laughs> but there was also the um, Blu-ray. So that was there. It is. There's the enlightened version of the Blu-ray. Wait, they have faction-specific versions of the Blu-ray set? Seriously? Which is new uh, for 214.45, so you can get that today. Oh, wow. why did I not jump on that earlier? Well, you can get this it hurts. used for 126. Hold on, I'm going on. Blue? I'm going on a site for anime just to see if I can find a box set for cheaper. And, oh man, I'm I thinking this needs to come out of the show money uh, we, you know, we've got we've got deep coffers in, in about five years we may be able to <laughs> oh that you know what's funny is uh searching for blu-ray oh, ingress do you see what the second link is <laughs> it's the ancient oh, no. academy podcast had a little story about the <laughs> the blu-ray um <laughs> only four hundred dollars when it came out um twenty thousand it's yeah. like we're everywhere uh so there's the the enlightened version and if you can get in on that code you might be able to get some uh, loot i'll read it to you it's zero one two three anyway totally so, redeemed they have a video and that's everything. on our website that is on our website yes oh, i'll have to look at that and then there's the blu-ray volume two which is the resistance so the the funny thing is if you want to get the all the episodes you're you're talking, you know, thirty six thousand yen, or actually thirty eight thousand yen, and I don't know. Do the and there's a video for that too. Um, but you get a limited passcode, so enjoy that. <laughs> Fully redeemed. 
<laughs> when everybody is like, they just had. That is would, it really? Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, that would hurt. I thought that was that some uh, Vanguard info we were getting. No, no. <laughs> I, I think JBJ Blaze would Blaise Blaise be redeemed, but uh, JBJ Blaze, I think he's saying you can't even buy the DVD in Canada. Uh, I, I could see that. Yeah. We don't want those Canadians to have it. God knows what they'll do with it. Uh oh. The cat's going to do something with it. Tech cat is not happy. So let's see. Okay, so it's gone down in price a little bit here. If you want to get it on yodabashi.com, it's only um, um, 17,810. Uh, I think, I guess that's yen. Is that yen? Is that symbol? <laughs> Yeah, but do you really want something shipped from that part of the world right now? Um, Shipping will be fine. You'll, you'll be safe. If they just leave it on the docks for like two months. Like two months. You know, get it, I'll boil it, and then I'll use it. Okay. I, I could... You get out of the rabbit hole. Get out of the... So get, I'm going get. to... I'm going to stop that. Yep. Okay. Okay. Anything else? I feel like we need a watch party now. Like we need to do an Agent Academy special where we just like we uh, talked about know, just watch an anime episode and just talk over it. Director's cut. Yeah, we were going to do that. The net Netflix together, or there's some sites I guess where you can just start playing the the Netflix video and all watch at the same time. Which I you know. I don't know if Niantic would come after us. Actually, I don't even know if they could. It may be Ultra or um, uh, the company that did the original. I don't know. Well, this is Ingus. We'll just we'll, we'll drop a cryptic clue for a physical location where the watch party will be, <laughs> and then you just you have to be there. It's in Effington. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop drop it and say, hey, there's a there's a Blu-ray here. Let's see if anybody shows up. It's kind of expensive to do, though. A little. A little. But but have you seen all the other merch that uh, is, is across uh, the ocean from us besides just the Blu-rays? There's a lot. There's a lot. Like and really nice sad. jewelry and stuff and... It's, it's, it's like the game just that much more popular yes. over in other countries? I think it is. I mean, I came across a, a Spanish um, Ingress show just as we were getting ready. I was like, where does this come from? So we are not the only ones out there. Hey, that sounds like uh, X-Files. Could be. Could be. Okay, well, we're going to quit extending the show with nothing, which is what we've been doing. <laughs> Not on purpose, either. It's kind of the Seinfeld version. Just nothing. So are you going to be the soup Nazi? Kind of look like the soup Nazi. I could be the soup Nazi. going to get an eight ball jacket. No soup for you. No soup for you. There you go. Where's the code? The code. Newman. The code. Newman. The code. So, here's one thing with the code. <laughs> it's not actually on the website quite yet, but we're going to go ahead and give you the code, and you will be able to turn this in on Saturday morning. So, and you should be able to remember it. It's A A No Code for <laughs> you. Let me change that for you, and that's No Code F O. R Y O U A A, and that will be there Saturday morning. So save Saturday. until next week if you need to. Saturday morning overseas, Saturday morning Eastern, Saturday morning Pacific, Saturday morning Russia. In roughly twelve hours. Okay. We want to be specific. From when we're doing the recording of the show, which is nine thirty three p.m. I, I just Central. let you know you have broken JBJ Blaze's heart. He's been waiting this whole time for that code. Uh, I don't know if he'll ever come back. Uh, he'll come back. Please. <laughs> please come back. Free <laughs> Please. We don't want 75% uh, of the audience to leave. That's right. We need you here. 
and do that math if you if you yeah. try it's difficult 75 percent is one person to, uh, i don't know it's i think there's some geometry in there so anyway that's it and i, I forgot to do all the bumpers all the things so like do we that tried. thing it's on the screen if you're watching it's just subscribe and, and like and all that and uh, and there's also so night everyone have a good weekend go finish making some fields we've got one more show before first Saturday one more show before first Saturday do we have a show before first Saturday uh I think so. yeah we can squeeze one in I think I'm gonna be on the road um, on the road again. Gotta go, to, gotta go do that, uh, you know, hexathlon thing. Yep. I think Miami. there's. A, I think there's a first Saturday in Chicago and St. Louis, so I might be able to hit one. Who knows? Maybe we'll get you on the road. In the field. Would Would you do that? Sure. Well, you're gonna be here, right? Be here where? On the show. Oh yeah, I'll be here on the show. <laughs> but Vane will be on the road, he said. So it's He'll be on the road Thursday. Yes. Yeah. No. I mean, I'm going down the entire coast, and I have done that in one session, but I, I really don't want to do that in one session this time. <laughs> Maybe we need to get Soho or Zelly or JBJ Blaze or Arvin or somebody. A guest spot. Yeah, or we just do the show like old days with the two of us. Two of us, yeah. Oh, yeah. One or the other. You can now close. <laughs> okay. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye.